Hey everyone, today we're going to look at some of the new planes that uh, just came out in Real Flight uh, version 9.5. Uh, and I thought the first one I want to start with here is the, uh, the E Flight uh, Twin Otter. In fact, we're actually just going to stick to the E Flight uh, models uh, to talk about their new ones that they've offered. So I thought I would start with one that I'm the, the most familiar with out of the new ones that have been, been added. So, and that is the, uh, the Twin Otter. And of course, we're not going to go through every single model but at least some of the high points of some of the models that uh, I find to be the most interesting that they have added. So, do a control system uh, check here. Neuron check, elevator, rudder. Let's go ahead and, uh, and power up the uh, twin otter. See, how does this compare to the one I have in my garage, huh? There we go, let's lift off. Yeah, so the uh, the Twin Otter is a 3S powered uh, twin engines, 1. Uh, it's a 1.2 meter uh, wingspan. Otter. It's got a very narrow wing profile. You can see the bottom of it there, uh, but um, it's a great flying airplane in real life. I love flying mine, so I thought we would compare and contrast a little bit. So let me just kind of get it into a pattern here and then uh, see how it does. Remember those I concerned about the graphics, we call that uh, I am shooting this uh, from my TV screen using my iPhone, so uh, the quality that you're seeing on YouTube is far lower quality than what I see on my screen and actually is lower quality than what you'd see from a, a good video card and a, uh, a good monitor. Uh, one thing I've noticed on, uh, let's I'm try to bring it down to about 50% throttle, the airplane seems to descend um, quite a bit more, I have to add a lot of uh, up elevator at about 50 and about 60 percent throttle. Yeah, all right, so I'm kind of watching the uh, stick over there on my side of the screen. Uh, yeah, this takes quite a bit more up elevator to keep the airplane uh, straight and level than, than my real one does. Of course, I've trimmed the aircraft, uh, my real one, to fly perfectly straight and level at 50 percent throttle and uh, it does that just fine. I actually have flown two different Twin Otters, both fly the same. Um, I noticed this one does do want to descend a lot more in the, um, in the sim than it does in real life. Do a nice little pass here. Power on. Roll. Yeah, it, um, overall I would say besides the, uh, the, the uh, you know, constant descending and needing a little up elevator. This flies is very similar to um, to my Twin Otter. Uh, it has all those great big uh, aileron rolls. Remember, this is a uh, this isn't an aerobatic plane. This is a um, it's really kind of a small commuter plane. It's used for all sorts of things. Military applications use this. Seaplanes. U.S. Army uses it. Yeah, there are a lot of variations of the uh, the Twin Otter out there. Big, great, big loop. Yeah, it's not an aerobatic plane at all. But yeah, uh, fun to fly, easy to fly. It likes, it actually prefers to be flown more scale. And of course, we're not flying uh, very scale here just with those last couple uh, passes. But yeah, as how does it compare to the, uh, the real one? Well, besides the, uh, the nose dropping, uh, very, very, very close. Uh, there's no doubt about it that, um, yeah. If you're interested in the uh, the Twin Otter, uh, this is a great place to try it out with um, first. And this is typically how I fly my Twin Otter, just uh, very much in, in a pattern, very scale fashion. Uh, one thing that I did notice in Real, Real Flight 9.5 that I didn't see so much in 9.0 is uh, you can see the, uh, the landing and navigation lights um, more on the airplanes. I don't know if they just weren't activated in the... Um, in 9.0, so let's try to bring it around here. They're a little tough to see in the daylight in the model. Uh, in real life, they're actually a lot brighter than this. Let's see if I can bring it down and show you guys. Yeah, they're kind of there. Um, I did fly this in the evening at one of the uh, the night environments, and you can really see the uh, the lights lit up on that. So, and I usually fly at dusk on my real one. Those lights are very very handy. But yeah, overall, um, this fly is very similar to. Uh, Right, no surprises there whatsoever. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this one in for a landing. So yeah, the, the uh, Twin Otter in the uh, in the sim is available as a float plane as well as with landing gear. We're going to fly the one with landing gear now, which is more commonly how I uh, fly. 
flaps. Yeah, it wasn't a very good, uh, here we go. It wasn't the best uh, landing or approach on that. I was too busy talking about the, uh, the airplane, not paying attention, but um, it has had flaps. I'll go ahead and suck the flaps up. Let's go taxi over. And like I was saying, it does come with uh, floats in the simulator, just as the real one does. And the simulator is a great way, actually, to, uh, to practice what I consider the most important aspect of flying the Twin Otter, and that is the landing. You want to make sure that you uh, you land on the mains first and then kind of let the nose uh, settle down. You don't ever want to land uh, nose first with a uh, tricycle landing gear uh, airplane. You want to keep that stress off the uh, the nose uh, gear and the, um, the the whole really assembly, including the servos. So. But yeah, overall, um, Twin Otter flies very much the same as the uh, the real one. And uh, it's a lot. It's a very enjoyable airplane that um, I'd highly recommend trying out in Real Flight 9.5, and also a great airplane to go ahead and add to your Hainer collection. So, if you guys got any questions on the uh, the Twin Otter? By all means, uh, leave them in your comments below.